Hey guys, it's me. I'm back from purgatory. I decided I wanted to experiment with some Windsor and Newton inks. I put them in this tray because I just know I'm gonna spill them. But I just got like the basic colors. While I've been gone, I've only brought my sketching set and two ink pens. And that was fun for like the first three days. And then after that, I was like, Ugh. I wanted some colors. I got tired of just the black and white with gray, everything. I did a few swatches on a couple of different um, papers. I did the Arches watercolor paper, which turned out to be the best in my opinion for obvious reasons. I also did a, a Canson Bristol board. That turned out okay. It was more like it, sat, it just sat on the paper. It was fine, but it just sat on the paper too long. So it dried kind of weird. And then I did the Hammer Mill um, cardstock. It's like 110 pounds, I think. And that actually turned out a lot better than I expected. So I think I'm gonna use the cardstock for like practice. And I also did um, some swatches in my Strathmore 400 series multimedia sketchbook. And that actually turned out really nice too. Yeah, so I'm going to make an art. I'm probably gonna use my arches just because I haven't used it in a long time. And I'm feeling fancy, especially since these are Windsor Noon inks that's pretty fancy too oh yeah i also got the ceramic palette i thought it was kind of nice and i've been wanting one for a while for my watercolors they just kind of i don't know my i have a plastic one and it just kind of stains so it's kind of weird and then i also have palette paper but i'm kind of tired of just like throwing throwing everything away all the time so I figured a nice ceramic one would be a good long-term, long-term bud. I'm suddenly really hungry, so I'm actually going to make lunch first before I start coloring with the inks. So you will join me for this lunch. <laughs> I don't know how to act in front of a camera. <laughs>
guys, so it's the next day. Um, I decided to let it dry overnight, just so I don't mess anything up, because it's on the very fancy paper. So I didn't want to make any regrets. I forgot to put the art on a like backing thing to keep it from warping. So it's kind of too late for that. <laughs> I'm done with the inks and I'm gonna use some of my, these guys, coloring pencils. <laughs> They're Prismacolor pencils. I'm also going to use, um, if I can find it, I'm also gonna use my white gel pen. If not, then I'm just gonna go over it with um, like white gouache or acrylic or something like that, just to do some highlights. But I really like how it's turning out so far. It's, it's very colorful. It's exactly what I wanted. Anyway, so yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> editing the video and I realized that it didn't make a good bye clip. So this is my bye clip. Excuse me. I'm filming. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> he's always making noises whenever I'm trying to like film something. It's the same bird that I used for one of my Inktober drawings and I just really liked the bird so I wanted to redraw him um, with color. So it's actually supposed to be a crow, but I made him blue. So he's a bluebird now. <laughs> well, have a good day. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bones. <laughs>